Hello, welcome to Type Web Dots. This is Angular tutorial series, and today we will discuss Angular and Angular 9. Okay, so let's just start without wasting time. So we will discuss what is Angular and what are the Angular features and what is new in Angular 9. Okay, and we will see what other Angular versions are available. So I will suggest you to watch videos on what is TypeScript and how can we create first Angular project using Angular CLI. Okay, so all the sources available on my blog as well, and I will provide those links in the description of this video. Okay, let's move next. So what is Angular? Earlier it is called Angular JS, and now we are calling it Angular. Okay, why I have already discussed in my previous video. Okay, link is given in the description of this video. So version two or version two plus, we call them Angular, and the current version is version nine. Okay, so what is Angular? It is an open source web application and client side framework led by Angular team at Google and by a community of individual and corporations. It is 100% written in TypeScript. It is cross platform. It means it can run on any machine, any operating system, and it support with super speed and performance. Angular has a different expression syntax focusing on a square bracket for property binding and round basis for event binding. Okay, it has modularity. It means much more functionality has moved to modules and components. Okay, it has form validation, which is very important. Server communication, it can easily communicate to server. It is injectable and testable as well. That's why Angular is most popular. So what other things regarding Angular is Angular had a component based architecture. Yes, you are hearing right. It is a component based architecture inspired in which it is easy to handle large enterprise level application, right? When there is a separate component, we can manage them very easily. With Angular, we can build single page application as well using its routing module. Routing is very important role which is playing in Angular. There are two types of directives in Angular. One is a structural and second is attribute type. A structural says directive modify the layout by altering HTML element in DOM. An attribute says directive change the behavior of appearance of the existing DOM elements. Okay, like look and feel. So what next? As so Angular features by default it has TypeScript as I told you it is written in TypeScript is a superset of ECMAScript that we can we can also call it ES6 and is backward compatible with ECMAScript 5 as well. Okay, and we will use the latest version of TypeScript which is 3.7. Okay, so Angular recommends the use of Microsoft TypeScript language which introduce the following features which are very useful like static typing including generics, directives, two-way binding, reusable components, dependency injection, services, routing, HTTP client, annotation, dynamic loading, asynchronous template compilation, and lot more, okay? So if we talk about available versions of Angular right now, you can see the version one was AngularJS, which was initially released in October 2010, okay? And since then, version two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine is the latest one and version three is skipped okay so angular version nine the what's new in this ivy compiler the angular new features in short we can say as we progress through this course i will discuss each and every new new feature of angular nine okay so you can see the highlighted one is default ivy compiler in version nine and other another one are phantom template okay Dependency injection, service worker updates, I89 and improvement, service sector less binding, TypeScript, smaller bundle, better performance, module with provider support. Okay, so let's discuss default IVY compiler of version 9. Okay, so what, what it says IVY is the code name for Angular Next Generation Compilation and Rendering Pipeline. Yes, you are hearing right, Next Generation compilation and rendering pipeline IVY compiler is the most interesting and default compiler and render as well the render is an engine that takes your component and template and translate them into instruction that manipulate the dom okay IVY is an, is an internal component so you don't need to interact 
with it directly okay however it will work behind the scene and it can have significant impact on your code yielding much smaller javascript bundle and increasing performance because bundle size will be smaller okay ivy is actually designed to solve the major problems of angular that is performance and large file size okay with the version 9 release of angular the new compiler and runtime instruction are used by default okay and instead of old older compiler and runtime known as view engine so you don't need to write anything new in your tsconfig.json file to enjoy ivy okay if you use angular 8 in your old project you would remember that the ivy render was already available to you but you need to opt in to use that for example you have to go to your tsconfig file and add the blue line angular compiler option enable ivy true okay so I hope you like this video if you have any question please leave a comment I will reply on that as soon as possible okay thanks for watching and ever in and in our upcoming next video we will discuss angular 9 project structure and how it actually works okay thanks for watching have a good day stay safe